Santosh Dahal from Nepal. Uh, namaste. Distinguished guests, professors, friends. This program is very different than my past academic studies because I learned skills which were more applicable in my work. I learned more from the field than the reading books and theories. I am very much inspired to go to my own community and work with them together. Community is my God for my life. I am more eager. Community is my God for my life and I am more eager now than before to work with them. I am see, seeing the day in the future when the community will take the lead, then I will enjoy the benefit of this degree. Dhanyavad. Namaste. Brenda Angola from Uganda. I would just like to say that throughout my journey with this master's program, I've had the privilege and opportunity to meet uh, people who have humbled me and, and inspired me from India to Kenya to Haiti and here in the US. And these are people that have chosen to live their lives simply so that others can simply live. I have learned over the course of this master's that when we learn to see the humanity in each other, we lay the foundation for the much needed positive change and peace that we need in our families, in our communities, in our nations, and with other nations. Thank you. Chandel France from Guyana. What is peace? Who is a peace builder? Those were among the prominent questions in my mind during that first residential in India. I had always connected peace to violent conflicts, so I struggled to connect my work with youth to peace building in any way. Two years later, I believe I have the answers to my questions. I heard peace in the voice of a young woman in Jamkhet, India, as she shared about her overcoming impossible odds to find hope and a, and a new life. I saw peace in Kurosoi, a small village in Molo, Kenya, where youth from previously warring tribes sat together and engaged in a way their adult counterparts are yet to discover. Peace was found watching a journalist from Burundi network with a radio station halfway across the world in Haiti. Finally, peace was also found in the voices and actions of Detroiters who vowed to do all that they could to change their communities. Then it dawned on me that all these people were peace builders, and I was too. When a pebble is dropped into a pool, the ripple effects are seen long after the pebble has sunk to the bottom. I believe that my experiences in this master's program will have effects, ripple effects long after this graduation. I say with pride today, I am a peace builder. Thank you. Savela Jacques from Haiti. St studying with Future Generation Graduate School for two years was the most enjoyable experience in my life. And I've made a lot of achievement, not only in the research area, also in my professional life. Future Generation helped me to develop the confidence to say, yes, I can do it and confidence to follow tough and succeed. I consider today as a victory for my community where I'm working and my country, Haiti, because we are facing a lot of down and up. They are full of challenges. And but one thing I learned in this course was how to convert the challenges into opportunities for the growth and the development of my country and the communities. I enter as an individual, but now, today, I've brought a group, the friend and family, was support, it's not temporarily, but ongoing. 
I must thank Future Generation Graduate School staff for winning the administrative part of the course and my friends, they are present to support me. This graduation means a lot to me. It's not the end of a learning process, but it's a new beginning. Anthony Kudoma from Uganda. Today is a very special day in my life, for it is a day when I have achieved what I set out to achieve in the last two years. It has been as it is a result of hard work and sacrifice. I believe now I'm more equipped with skills that I need to engage with my community in order to bring about change. I believe I am equipped with the necessary skills to conduct discussions in my community and in my country, Uganda, in East Africa and the whole of Africa region, so that we reduce poverty levels, we work for sustainable development, and we conserve our environment for today's generation and the future generations to come. I thank you all. Shivekumba Kanji from Namibia. The past two years has been a wonderful journey to me. A journey full of exposure to different countries, different cultures, and above all, an exposure to a different learning methodology. Through that, I have really grown. And such skills, it's a true gift, you know. Now I'm going back home to fulfill my highest true expression which is being a positive social agent in my community. Today, I know that change is possible, although I also know that change can take a long time before it can be seen. Um, Namibia can be a, a global model for, for, for a global model for, for peace. Yes, today I can say I'm a peace builder back in my community. Thank you. Natwijuka Seth Kayombo from Uganda. For the last 10 years, I worked to support the PGMEs, but who are just out of the forest by the government without being supported. I thought I was also marginalized. I went through difficult times, and uh, when I reached the extent of saying I was giving up, then future generations came up to help me out. Uh, I thank you, Future uh, uh, Generation Graduate School, USIP, and Catherine Davis. Uh, this program has helped me a lot, has improved my proficiency, my professionalism, and I pledge that I will always fight and support the marginalized, actually the word marginalized communities until I die. The program has helped me uh, to refine my lifetime goal. I will fight and I will work until I die. Thank you. Paz Abaye Magat from the United States and the Philippines. Well, I'm fairly convinced we're all nuts for being here because we might just be crazy enough to believe that what we're spending the rest of our lives doing is something whose result we'll actually get to see. But we're going to do it anyway. There's a term the Spanish use called querencia. It refers to the place where you're mo your most authentic self. This group I've had the fortune of spending the last two years with we know in the truest of our hearts that this is what we're meant to do, and this is the most authentic version we have to offer. May we all, in the years to come, honor our querencia by continuing to practice peace in our hearts first, humility towards those we're trying to help, and always, in the words of Henry Fowler Durant, live lives of noblest usefulness. Thank you. <laughs> 